there's a school now in Lagos that uh, a child in primary school will pay 42 million naira a year and people have been talking about it that what kind of school is that and the school has come out to justify the reason why that money is going to be paid and some people are like okay it is not something that uh, people really need to talk about because it's not something it's not a nobody's going to be forced it's only when you have the money that you go there but again it speaks volume to what is really happening in this uh, country and that is why she already has come out and exposes those whose children will attend most expensive primary school but i i don't think that is a problem of anybody that's why we have a lot of schools if you feel that you have that kind of money you go there it's not a government-owned school that say uh, oh people just have to pay you are compelled to do that but that does not mean that uh, some things must not be talked about just like the school has come out to defend i don't know the reason they give i just saw the headline they are trying to justify the reason why the money is as high as that that okay even if you go to the uk go to the uk i think it's a british school if you go to the uk it's going to be more expensive than that which is not really true Omoyelesh Oore, a human rights activist and politician, has claimed that some of those whose children attended Charter House Lagos are politicians who diverted public funds. She already stated that some of the funds they diverted were meant to rebuild primary school education in Nigeria, but the funds were diverted to send their children to expensive schools. The former presidential candidate then posited that Nigerians should not be angry with the school for charging that much but should channel their anger against the political class. Okay. She were a rights activist and journalist in a tweet on Monday, April 22nd, disclosed that some of those whose children attend the primary school that charges 42 million naira per annum are those who built substandard primary schools across the country. The activist posited that primary school classrooms should be described as public primary schools in nigeria one of the largest oil producing countries in the world adding that the nationwide outreach should be against the political class and not the school he alleged that the political class had ruined the public education system in the in nigeria and had redirected the funds meant for the rehabilitation of nigeria's education system to send their awards to expensive primary schools Okay, in his tweet, he said the outrage should actually be against the Nigerian politician or political class that ruined public education institutions and diverted the funds from there to send their own kids to expensive rubbish school and also build themselves mansions that are squankier than the classrooms you see here. Charter House Lagos, a primary school in the commercial city of Nigeria has been on the news for charging 42 million naira annually many nigerians have condemned the development body school has come out to justify the exorbitant fees you see so she already is coming from a different uh, angle where well, some people will still tell you that uh, those who are not politicians some of them are still going to the school some uh rich elites uh, but uh, that does not take the fact away that uh, yes this is what uh, happens because you begin to question those who can send their children to even in the uk honestly speaking how much are you going to be paying it's not up to that well time in memoria even before nigeria's independence schools have been in categories there are schools for influential rich people why we have public schools for others this is not peculiar to nigeria as even in uk has it even the in the case of the uk apart from money you will you will really see black uh, among them yes even in the uk you have a schools apart from money you will really see black among them i would like to know which school your student are attending in nigeria the school you attend does not uh, dictate what you will be tomorrow as i too attended public schools and um public schools and today we are what Omoe Shubaba Oga is easy to jo take a walk around the country, Nigeria, and see for yourself. Don't oppose when you haven't even done verification. Nigeria is sinking and some people are happy brandishing nonsense. I hope that the children are heavily guarded. Pray eyes of kidnappers are watching. 
children of thieves who stole Nigeria wealth. But it is not so. You cannot just say generalize. But what she already has said is just the, is the truth. But unfortunately, those who are innocent, who will still want to send their children there, who are really genuine, they will not be victims of this sin. And that's why you see some people when they come to the UK, when maybe they are doing well in Nigeria, they come to the UK. People just believe that everybody is a politician. So all this and they don't see money finish. Now they come, they come here. That is the I way we see people till they look them. So it might not really be like that, but majority, at least they say 90, 80-90% of truth in what uh, Shiwore has said in his claim. Why is it that Shiwore likes to exaggerate stories without proof or concrete facts by providing the names of the individual politicians? He enjoys spreading negativity about the country and persons and persons when it is not favored to cause confusion or anarchy in country in the country because he knew his family does not reside in Nigeria. Any well to do business people that can afford the free to send their words to the school is fine. Oga is the is the truth. Take a walk around the country and you see what he's talking about. This is why we have all sort of crime in northern part of nigeria as the privileged keep oppressing the poor the oppressed will raise up arms against the his oppressor it's a question of time the oppressor will reserve reserve job vacancies for their children yes to graduate at the university white children of the oppressed are roaming about with their certificates unemployed sooner or later the oppressed in the south will rise arms against the oppressed and their children but unfortunately the one the example that this one person is giving that you see the oppressed you know carrying taking to harms and all of that they don't even go after the the people who have oppressed them they still go after their own fellow oppressed people that is just the that's just the irony of this one as well his song is is ridiculous so guys let's know what you think and i will take on this thank you